Uh, hey Chesa, I'm Delin Kateski and um, here, here I am with Miss Fields giving an afterglow on what has been another fantastic flag day. What we're just going to do is we're just going to run down through everything regarding Miss Fields and how everything about flag day has gone. So Miss, uh, congratulations on another fantastic flag day. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so Miss, you've been doing flag day for 17 years now. No, actually, Flag Day's oh. been going for 17 years, but okay. I've done it for 14. Okay, so yeah. there you go. Okay, so Flag Day's been going for 17 years yeah. now. How do you think the meaning of Flag Day has changed? I think that um, the first few years, it was pretty kind of low-key, small-scale. Um, not that pe many people kind of uh, got involved. Mm. The very first year we had it, we had 11 kids in cultural dress. Yeah. And um, the kids just had it like a laminated little flag and they'd stick it on a map of Australia. No singing, no dancing, no oh. nothing. So, and I remember um, Mrs. Matthews, I helped her with the second and third one. And uh, one of the, I can't remember which one, we said, oh, how about, you know that thing we did last year? Let's do it again. How about next week? You know, like we, oh, wow. <laughs> we that's, started that's getting it really a week before. It was, was um, a lot different to how it yeah, is now. So now happen. there's no way yeah. you could get it ready a week before. Yeah. Um, so it's changed a lot. Mm. And I think the way that it's changed is that over the years, the kids have embraced it more and more and got into it more and more. And I, I feel like it's starting to be the glue that kind of holds us together. Mm. So... 14 years ago, like, what made you say, okay, I'm going to step in charge, take over Flag Day? I was reluctant. Miss Matthews got a job at another school, mm. and she and I had been doing it together, and I didn't think that I'd be able to do it by myself, and I was a bit, um, a bit unhappy about it, and in those first few years, I used to say, well, that's my last one. <laughs> but yeah. apparently I wasn't very serious. <laughs> yeah, so I... Um, yeah, I, I just kind of got dragged into it a bit because she left, and mm -hmm. so that I was the last one left to do it. But when you did take the job, did you know what it was going to lead to? Like, did you know that, you know, looking forward 14 years now into the future, that would be where we are now? I never, ever would have imagined that it would have gone as long as what it did. Oh. I never imagined it would get as big as what it did. Um, it was beyond, I wouldn't have thought about it. It never would have entered my consciousness mm. that it would go that long and, and turn into what it became. Um, wow. Yeah. So, you know, it's been, it's been a big journey going from where we just look, stick their flags yeah. to now performances and dances yeah. that take months of preparation, which is really I good. remember the first performance we ever had, there were some um, Portuguese girls at the school and they danced in a dancing oh. group outside of school. Okay. And so they said, all right, you know, we can, we can do some dancing. So they brought all these other people in. And they started dancing, and the music kept going, it kept going. And then I thought it was fin It was really long, like oh, a five-minute wow. track. And then I thought, all right, that's it, the people clapped. And then they did another one. And then by the time they got to the third one, because I, they had, <laughs> hadn't even shown me what they were going to do. Oh, by the time they got to the third one, that's when I made the rule, Cheso kids only. Yeah. And we're going to see exactly what's going okay. on. So it was nuts. <laughs> all right, so Miss... At the beginning, you were talking about how, you know, there was only 11 students to begin with. Mm. But now we see here, it's almost, you know, half the school involved. Mm. Do you think this has been a dramatic influence from Flag Day? Like, do you think mm. that how Flag Day has given this message of respect to different nationalities, more and more people are inclined to actually participate in Flag absolutely, Day now? Absolutely, absolutely. Those first 11 kids all those years ago that wore cultural dress, we had to pretty much bully them into it. And they were very self-conscious and they were very worried that people would laugh at them and stuff like that. The culture of the school has changed a lot in all of those years. And now we've got hundreds of kids dressed mm. up. Um, hundreds of kids want to be in it. And I think that kids don't have to actually... That doesn't occur to them that anyone's going to laugh at them yeah. or that there's anything about it apart from being proud and being happy. And it's amazing. It's wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Because every single culture is respected equally and valued equally and they're really proud to show their yeah. cultural background. And no matter how many people are, belong to each background, mm. you know, mm. if, even if it's just one person in the school representing their that's background, right. that's good. Yeah, it deserves respect. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I want to take this idea a bit further. Okay, so we've seen that more and more people mm. are participating, participating in Flag Day. Do you think that maybe Flag Day can evolve so that maybe stretch, stretches out beyond our community to say perhaps other schools or you know so that other community events can actually celebrate what we're celebrating so maybe this approach of you know multiculturalism is 
I'm really conflicted about that because people have asked me about that before. I've been asked, for example, to send a busload of kids down to the Shire mm. and show some Anglo school multiculturalism. But we've got that um, respect and that, um, that sense of valuing everybody equally. And I, I, don't, I don't know whether that's the right thing to do or not. I don't want to put our kids in the position where, you know, that they're kind of a tokenistic, yeah. multicultural yeah. experience mm. of a song. It's not just about a song yeah. and a dance. Yeah, like if it's just about so singing and dancing, then people miss the point. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want them to be like tools promoting just That's diversity. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's more about the celebration and everything. Yes, but, yeah. and in our and it's for our community, yeah. and we make it for our community. And um, and if if it's just about singing and dancing, then people miss the point completely because it's about us coming together yeah. as one. Yeah. And it's about what we do together. So I don't know if putting on a show for other people um, would work. It might. It might. Mm. But I've been reluctant to do that yeah. in the past. So Miss, when you took the job, what was your greatest goal that you thought that you could reach by using Flag Day? <laughs> Not to be humiliated. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> like, some, there were a few years where you know I'd go into the principal's office the week before uh, and cry and say, this is going to be embarrassing. Uh, well, <laughs> um, so... The, the way we used to do it then was not how we do it now. Mm. And, um, and I, yeah, just getting over the line was good enough when I started. Now my expectations are really, really high, really high. And so I know that I'm not going to be humiliated. The school's not going to be humiliated, mm. that we're, we've got something really special going. So I've, I've gone from, like, one extreme to another, yeah. you know. Um, but at the beginning, it was so kind of, not disorganised, but... We were just making stuff up as we went along, and we didn't know really what we were doing. Yeah. I remember in the early years, people would say, you want a spotlight here, or do you want this? And I'd go, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And now, I'd, okay, <laughs> I want this. I want this. <laughs> <Directly> <laughs> yeah. <now. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, know, I, I think about it all the time, yeah. and I know exactly what I want. So the, it, it's changed a lot, and my expectations now are really, really different. Um, and, and I feel as though... We all expect a lot from it, not just me, the whole school community. Mm. And the kids have a lot of pride in showing off their culture and they, they take on board that they want to do the best job that they can. Do, do you think your expectations increase after every year? Probably, and I think yeah. everybody else do yeah. too. Um, the real truth is that each year it just seems to get a bit better and a bit better and mm. a bit better. And even 10 years ago, I was saying, I don't know how it can get any better. And the honest truth is, I don't know how it can get any better now. We'll find a way. There's always, there's always a little secret weapon. Yeah. This year, it was the Cheso flag. Uh, yeah. You know, there's, um, there was the Wave Your Flag bit, a DVD. There's the, there's the first year that we bought the lines. Yeah. You know, there's, I try and put something new and interesting and fresh in there every year. Um, I haven't, don't know what next year's thing is yet. Yeah. But. Well, it's good for those parents that always, you know, come back. I mean, my mum, she's come to every flag day since yeah. it's since my first brother came here. Mm -hmm. And so seeing something new every year, you know, entitles them to actually come back year after year. And yet the traditions are yeah. It's Tradition has a lot of place. And so the flag parade is the tradition. The coming together and doing the song yeah. at the end is the... So traditions can make something really strong, but you've got to have a balance between doing things the same way and making them not boring. Yeah. Um, so you've got to have the balance between the tradition and something new and interesting. Yeah. Which is yeah. There are some mums that sit there at the end and know the words yeah, to the song. Which like, is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Miss, um, going back to our expectations. So, have you gone to the drawing board for next year? I thought of a few. Not not much. Not much because mm. I do have a year. Yeah. To go. <laughs> um, but I've thought about things to do with the song at the end mm. and um, with the choir. Um, Miss Mannion, Miss Mannion's always thinking about Flag Day too. She's she's always got ideas on the back burner, and Miss Bellamy as well mm. for the um, the music video. But specifically, no. Sometimes I already know from one Flag Day to the next yeah. what what I want to do. Um, but at the moment, apart from making some changes to the song at the end, I haven't got anything bubbling away in there. It'll come. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, Chesa, another Flag Day has come and gone. Here I am with Miss Fields, and uh, we just talked about everything regarding Flag Day. Only best wishes is for the next coming Flag Day, so I thank you for your time, Miss. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you. Bye.